This week, we are gonna push the kayak trailer aside for a little while, kind of put it on the side burner so we can get back to work on the truck camper build we've got going. I've got my hands on the CBI Printsu top rack. So we're gonna unbox it today, get it put together and get it installed. This should match perfectly to the Printsu roof rack we've got on the front of the Toyota. And I've got a few extra add-ons from CBI. They're quick detach awning system so we can put our CVT awning on there when we wanna go camping and then pop it off when we're not camping. A few other things from CBI we're gonna to add to this rack. It should be very cool and it's gonna make a huge difference to our camping setup on the back of the truck. Y'all stick around. All right guys, welcome back to the channel. And if you're new here, my name's TJ. Welcome to Kayak USA. So if you've been following along these past few weeks, you know that I've got two separate builds going on at the moment. We're working on the DIY kayak trailer. Got it almost complete. Got a few small things left to do to it. And I'm also working on a truck camper setup. I've been wanting to camp out of the bed of my Toyota for a long time now. And a few weeks ago, I found a good deal on an ARE camper shell. We got it paint matched a few weeks ago. I actually added some track systems to the top of it. We've got a bed rug system installed in the back of it. And we're just moving along, trying to get this thing built out so I can actually take this truck out camping. When we go kayak fishing far out, I can just sleep in the bed of the truck. And the next step to that, is adding this rack system that we got from CBI. So if you need a good rack system for the top of your truck, CBI is the way to go. They've got a great website. You go to their website, you can punch in the exact truck that you have and it'll give you all of the options of everything they carry. They've also got a ton of accessories that you can buy to mount to these rack systems for quick detaching awnings, for max track mounts, light mounts, handles, anything you can think of for whatever it is that you're into, they have an accessory mount for that. So hop in the video description below, click on it, CBI website, go there, punch in your truck and find the rack for your truck and see what you think. So today, this should give us a give us a full platform across the top of my truck. So we'll have a nice flat area. The track systems are great. They've got the T-Track slots in every rail so you can mount stuff just about anywhere you want on these things. And we'll be able to haul a 14 foot kayak if we want to on the top of this truck. So let's get into the unboxing really quick. We're gonna put this thing together. Then we're gonna throw it on the truck and add all the cool accessories that I picked up from them and see how this thing looks. So this is their Printsu top rack that is specifically for the short bed Toyota Tacoma. And let's see, I've already got the tape cut so we can just pull the top off. And I'll show you everything else that I ordered with it. So this is the handle system that I went with. And the way the handle system works, I'll pull one of them out. I've actually got four of them, is they mount onto the side of the rack. This is what they look like. So you can reach up and grab and pull yourself up to get to the top of the rack to hook stuff up. But if you've noticed, they leave this little opening right here in the middle. And they come with these plugs that go in there. That's got the Printsu logo right here. And that plug will just go inside there and then you'll have the little Printsu logo on the inside. But the reason they have these is you can take these off and they actually sell at Baja Designs lights that mount right here. So when this is mounted to the top rack, these will be angled down slightly and those Baja Design lights will actually, you can turn them on and they'll light up the area around your truck. So we're gonna mount four of these all the way around the truck to give us a good handle to get up and down. Got four of those. Let's see what else I got in here before we pull the rack out. They've got everything labeled in the bag system. So they got like a baggy system. So you open up this big bag and this is all of the stuff you need and it's in individual bags on the inside telling you exactly where to go. And what I found really cool about these Printsu racks is they don't come with instructions in the box. They have a colorful, full detailed layout PDF on the website that you can go to. You can scroll through every step so you know exactly what bolt, what washer goes where, and you can put these together quickly and easy. So let's see what else I got. These are the top mounts for the, thing, for the top of the track system. And then here's the other thing that I got. This is their low profile. These things are wrapped really good. This is their low profile quick detach awning setup. So the way this works is this is gonna go over the side of our rack kind of like this. This is gonna go over the top of the trucks here. It'll go over there, we'll bolt it together. And they've got these hinges that you pull out and you turn them 
and you can pop off the awning. So this part will stay attached to the awning when we put it up and we won't have anything sticking off the side of the truck. So we'll be able to pop the awning off, leave it at home when we're not camping. And that way we don't have to ride around with our awning hanging off the side of our, of our truck everywhere we go. Even though most people do it because they look cool, it does cause you know a little bit of gas deficiency, I guess you would say. It's not really good to just drive around with your tent and your rack on the top of your truck, or not your rack, your awning mounted to the top of your truck all the time. So anyway, we got those quick detach systems. It's the low profile, they've got two different kinds. If you're looking, they've got the regular ones and they got the ones that hug the side of the truck really well. That's what I went with, we're gonna try those out. And then on the inside, you've got the rack system. It comes with your two side pieces, which everything is super lightweight, it's aluminum. And it comes with a couple of braces that go across the backs. And I've already took a sneak peek at the PDF on how we're gonna put this together. It's gonna be really easy, guys. Don't, don't think that you have to pay anybody to put this on for you. Order the rack and then just look at their website, go through step by step. You'll have it put together in 10 minutes. It's not hard at all. And then the track system is what I like. This is what, makes their rack amazing. I don't know if you can tell on camera. Yeah, you can see that. See that track system they got? And what's really neat is they add these holes on the, on the tracks right here. You can see the holes. The reason they put those holes there is because this face is up and in order to get stuff in these T-slots, like these, I'll show you some of their accessory mounts that they have. You can just drop them in there and slide them onto the rack. And when you're not wanting to use them, you just loosen them a bit, slide them down to that hole and you can pull them out. So there is a top side, there is a bottom side. The bottom side doesn't have those holes to get anything in and out because it's just on the bottom side of your truck. So we're gonna mount these whole face up and I think we got six of them. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, so we got six of these that go across the top a bag full of bolts, the bag for the, uh, this goes with the awning bolts right there. And that's it, that's all that is in the box. I'm gonna lay it in the floor really quick. We're gonna throw this thing together and get it put on top of the truck and see how all these, we'll get that CVT rack, uh, that CVT awning I mean from the kayak trailer. We'll bring it in, that camping trailer. I still got it mounted outside on it. So we'll go get it, bring it in, get it mounted on the side of the truck today as well. That didn't take long at all. You're probably gonna hear a little bit of traffic. I've got all three of the garage doors open, so you'll probably hear some cars and some dogs, but I wanted to get some better light in here for you. So I knocked it out. It probably took me about 30 minutes in all to get everything up there the way I wanted it. As you've seen me do, I installed all four of the handles. I got one here at the front, so I can literally just grab the handle now and hop up here and look how good that looks. Look how flush the top of this truck is. I can haul lumber up here, kayaks, whatever we need. And I ended up putting the handles on the back rack in the center back here. 
because the tire is where I'll usually be stepping up. You know, if you gotta have somewhere to put your foot, and I was originally gonna put them at all four corners, put a handle here to match the one that's in the front corner, but it's really useless because there's nowhere to put your feet. So now if I come back here, I can grab the handle, stand up on the tire, and then hop up here on the top rack. How cool is that? I'll show you the other side. These things go together so simple, guys. Look how good that looks. I just love the look of how straight the line is. Like it's a perfectly straight line all the way across the rack. And to get to the CVT awning that we were gonna put in, if I included it in the footage of that little montage of me installing this, you seen me get it up there. I was gonna get it mounted, but I think what I'm gonna do is hold off on the awning because this is the, I think it's the 72 inch CVT awning. It's the one that we keep on the kayak camping trailer that we built. It's really too long for the truck. If you've seen me hold it up there, I, I think I'm just gonna go with a shorter one. I wanna get one that's just the length of the back because there's an issue with putting one that attaches back here and then it also attaches up here. You can do that but if you get somewhere, which, you know, this is not a rock crawler or anything, but if I get somewhere where I'm off-road and you start tweaking and twisting the truck, the back end doesn't need to be connected to the front. You don't want your bed or your cap or anything like that connected to the cab of your truck because there's going to be flex there. And I'm sure the awning would flex just fine, but I think I'm just going to wait. So these will be installed in a later video, but you've seen how well they work. Just They just clip over the rack just like that. And then this piece here, actually bolts to the back side of the awning. Cause you know, these, these awnings have a track system. Let me turn it around so you can see. So the awnings will have a track system. This bolts to the back of that. You twist these little knobs, unlatch it, and it just pops right off of the mount. And what you're left with, and I can pop it up here and show you. So what you're left with is something that looks like this once it's bolted on. So you'll be able to pop it off. Nothing sticks out. It don't even stick out as far as the handle, I don't think. So that's all you'll be left with. But we're gonna install these in the next video or a later video. I've gotta get me a shorter awning. And also it'd be good for me to get a second awning so I don't have to remove this one and swap it from the camping trailer back and forth to the truck. But what do you guys think about that? I absolutely love it. I've been wanting to get this top rack put on every ever since I picked up this camper shell. I am so happy with the way this build is turning out. I absolutely love that Prince rack. The more I look at these handles that I installed, I do think I'm gonna go ahead and order those Baja design lights. The way they're hidden, the way they kind of blend in with the rack, and I think it'll give us a great amount of light around the truck. So if you guys wanna see me install those and run the wires and all that, let me know in the comment section. If you do, I'll film it. I'll film you know me installing the lights, hiding the wires and all that stuff, and I'll uh, make that video for you guys. But I think the next video we're gonna make is the bed system. I did reach out to Flated. They don't make the five foot inflatable cot yet. So we'll probably just build one out of wood, put some drawers in it, carpet it, you know, make it match the bed rug and stuff like that. So look out for that video. We got to finish up the kayak trailer very soon. If you're not subscribed yet, make sure you hit that subscribe button. I upload every Thursday at two o'clock. To those of you that are already subscribed, I really appreciate you watching my videos. And if you're still watching, I really appreciate you watching them all the way through like this. And I will catch you guys next Thursday at two o'clock. Peace.